It's been a really good day for SEC teams in this tournament, man. Um, only two teams have lost so far, and uh, I have reacted to nine of those SEC teams that have played. I have two more to go, Tennessee and Mississippi State. So, man, it's been a long day, but just two more to go, man. Uh, we got Northern Kentucky, Tennessee. Let's get it. The first pitch from the left-hander. He's in there for a strike, Northern Kentucky. I have Kentucky winning the natty. Relatively deep here to right field. It is Which I... Goodbye over the scoreboard. Cleary Simpson making a big statement. <clears throat> okay. Cleary Simpson cleared the wall. Um, yeah, I picked Tennessee to win the natty. I wouldn't mind seeing them win it because as an LSU fan, I feel like... You know, I could get along most with Tennessee fans. Because, you know, we hate the same teams. Can't stand Florida, can't stand Bama. Can't stand them bums. So, you know, I feel like I get along best with Tennessee just being an LSU fan, man. Holy shit, what is going on? Northern Kentucky, a home run and a double for Tennessee. I wish I showed the records. How good is this team? Tennessee, you awake or like? What's, what's going on, brother? Ooh, that was nasty swing. What are you doing? All right. Let's see the ball is offense. Christian Moore, home run. Never mind. He'll get on base, though. Why do I have to sneeze? I'm not going to. I'm not gonna. Make it to the World Series last year and then 50 wins this year. Over the head of the second baseman, Odom in the right field. is Dryling also jumped on the first pitch. Here we go. Coming off a season high, four hits in the SEC title game. He hits it back up the middle. Gonna get out of it. And right to John Odom. Good breaking ball from Kazi. Boy, that was wicked. And that's another mm. back -back I mean, you gotta swing the bat, man. I like to watch the glove. I like to see where the glove I knew I heard Ben McDonald. There a few times before you can win it. Certainly Tennessee's been there now. Tavares tears tees off. Solid base hit down the line into right field. He's going to stop at first base. Didn't oh, he half swung at that one. Third base, Simpson. Advanced the runner, though. And he's going to try to dump this into left field. It's going to get down. Oh, my goodness. That's what you cannot do. Kentucky left fielder. Tears comes all the way around to score and sliding into second Chapman. Wofford LSU crazy game, that is correct. <laughs> that is an understatement. 2-1 back up the middle, but right to John Odom, who was positioned perfectly. First year in the SEC, seventh pitch, and walked him. A.J. Causey, after striking out four of the first five guys he faced, getting loud. Mm, my goodness, this boy is throwing stuff, huh? No matter who you're facing or what league you're playing in. Blake is, Burke. Can you, it, can you command the ball? Well, he didn't command it and control it right there. Burke, as big as he is, can move. He's got nine stolen bases on the year. That hit him. The 1-1 one -one skips in the turf, gets away from Pollock. He has to chase. And Burke and Amick able to advance easily. Yeah, you're in trouble. You better stop walking these boys, man. I mean, I guess now you got the double playing effect, but you got tears up there. All right. Well, I guess we're just going to keep doing this, huh? <clears throat> now you got Rocky top playing. Are you are you are you going to be calm now? Hell no. I mean, another run. Jesus, that thing was way up there. in the inning for Tennessee and they have yet to deliver a hit. That's 
the second out, and Reese Chapman will come to the plate. The one-two pitch. Mm. Struck him out. And Tanner Gillis, gritty division, division three transfer. But he looks My like goodness, brother. Maybe eight to ten miles an hour different, but you're talking about almost a 15 mile an hour difference. That strikeout number seven. Second one, two, three. Oh, he just freaking uh, uh, on him. Oh, did I, did I see a mid game interview <laughs> with Tony? Moore is going to round first, and now he's going to jump for second. He's going to get in there slack. Wow. All it took was that little slip out there in the outfield for him to get to second. Yeah, I used to go to the racetrack all the time. Boy, Did he get all of it? He got all of it, didn't he? He got all of it. <laughs> Center fielder is demoralized. <laughs> On a ball that air traffic control probably was aware of. I mean, that was hit a mile high. And now it's 6-1 Tennessee. Well, there's 216 stitches on the baseball, and I think Amy covered every one of them on that swing. Just a bomb. Straightaway center field off the batter's eye. Watch this. Oh, that's a hanging breaking ball sitting right up in the heart of the plate. It's screaming, hit me, as it travels at 60 feet, 6 inches, and that's just exactly what Billy Amick does. Make it a Weaver. A three-run shot. 21 for Tennessee now. As this one is rocked into right field. Dylan Dryling will think about two. He'll shift into second gear and he'll get in. My the goodness, they're being aggressive. I like it. Second double of the inning, third extra base hit. Number one in the RPI. Tennessee ended up 27 strength of schedule. Now well, McClanahan comes 27 strength of schedule. As Brennan Rowe just sent. I don't know how that is if you play in the SEC and you play a freaking gauntlet of a schedule. Came when John Odin was still in the game. That pitch is a strike. Runner goes. But I guess you don't play yourself, so, and you're the number one team in the country, so I guess that knocks it down a little bit. short. Plays to first. Get the out there. Just a routine bouncing ball at the middle to do it. Oh man, Kazi with another strikeout. Yeah, that dude, man, Kazi. with runners in scoring position. He's being a cause for depression for Northern Kentucky. That is for sure. This is sharply hit into center field, based on Traven Moss. His second hit. Has to go with those numbers. A little bit of every oh man, they got him. He threw it away. Oh, he got him on a pickoff. Trying to take an extra 90 feet, and when you're down like you're. Oh, got you leaning, brother. He's give up an out right here. Win number 12 on the. Bro got bamboozled on that one. Fly ball deep right field, going back is tears, and this is carrying. Good wow, by. tears. I don't know who you think you are, oh, but. Boy, that Maybe next year you'll be able to get that one. Maybe next year, brother. His 22nd, Liam McFadden Ackman. You gonna be hitting the portal soon? 22 home runs? You hit the portal, I mean, LSU's gonna be looking at you, you know? We'll take you. We're losing Tommy Tanks. We could use another tank. Just saying. Good old Jay Johnson might take a look at you. That's that's cute. That's really cute, man. If it stays where it is. Going back and Dusley's not gonna get there. Brennan Rowe's gonna run for a while. Around second. Heading for third. Here comes the throw. Wow, that was close. Brennan Rowe. Up to 108 pitches. Oh, I was about to say, if you can get him at home on that. Oh, ugly swing. Yep, your day is done. 111, 111. Good well, we shit, Kazi. We warned you, and it's happened. What? Attendance record here at Lindsey Nelson Stadium in Knoxville: oh. 6,396. Previous record set earlier this season: 6,155 against Ben's LSU Tigers. That was in mid-April. Brother. Set an attendance record against us. Come on. And they had to watch a sweep. Come on, bro. You didn't have to put that in there.
You didn't have to say who. You could have just said they set a record earlier this season. You didn't have to say who it was against. Bro, Come on. Standing room only is what it is. <laughs> Tennessee, you know, they're not out of the woods in this ball game yet, but this is crushed. Leadoff man in the inning, Hunter Ensley. Goodbye, home run. Now, Tennessee just got that run back. Northern Kentucky with a run in the top of the seventh. Ensley leads off the bottom of the seventh with his ninth home run of the year. Boy, the first hit, Nick McClanahan has given up with a home run. He had been really good for Northern Kentucky until that pitch. This ball Side out swing and a bullet to right field, but then you may see another guy come in. Breaking ball misses upstairs. Got oh, got him. First. Moss picked off again. Now he sees again. That was the same guy. Moss is going to dig a hole and hide him. Struck him out. Yeah, he better dig a hole. With the bats or the balls or a combination of can't get tagged if you're underneath if you're underground, I guess. Tiki's 2 2 pitch. Laced down the line and gone home run. Wow. Dylan Dryling with a missile. Dude. To right field for his 18th home run of the year. If Tennessee's hitting like this, nobody's going to beat him, I'm it's telling you. Hitting and pitching like this, nobody's going to beat the team, man. I swear to God. Everybody in this lineup can hurt you. You cannot make a mistake. You cannot ever make a mistake against this team when you're pitching. It's it's disgusting. Pop up first baseman Berg over there. Makes the catch on the warning track. And now Tennessee needs one more out to go to the one over. They only use two pitchers. Should end it. Aim it across the diamond. Oof. So, nine to three. They get to play. Southern Miss lost to Indiana by six. Ooh boy, Southern Miss. That's a. Hmm. I mean, they should take care of Northern Kentucky, but man, I did not expect that. I expected a Southern Miss Tennessee rematch from the Supers last year, man. But Tennessee, Indiana it is. Indiana must be pretty solid. Um, that's two Big Ten teams that I've seen so far. Nebraska lost to Florida and Indiana. Now I'll beat Southern Miss. But good job, Tennessee, man. Uh, and good luck tomorrow. I will, of course, be watching.